Hey friends, Andrea here with a new video for Hip Kid Club. I am making three cards today using the brand new August 2021 Hip Kit. I'm starting by pairing one piece of pattern paper with a piece of cardstock and going from there. Now, normally when I'm making cards, there are two different ways that I, that I start. One is I take the piece of pattern paper, one is starting with the cardstock and building the base of the card based on that. And normally I don't go by a specific size. I go by whatever it is that I'm feeling. Sometimes I make six by six cards. These ones in particular are six. four and a half inches by six. So I cut and folded my piece of cardstock first and then I'm going with the pattern paper based on that size. And I'm going to get a circle here. Now my challenge for this week was to make sure that I added finishing touches such as machine stitching or stitching in general. So that's what I'm going to be doing for three for the three cards. So this one I opened, I have I cut a circle in the middle and we're going to add some fussy cut flowers and this sentiment will be in the middle but that allowed me to add one more piece of pattern paper that I felt went really good with especially with the yellow that we had with the cardstock so now I'm adding some adhesive foam adhesive foam squares to the back of the pattern paper that will be our main background And off camera, I fussy cut some of these flowers. These, I have to say, I think this might be my favorite pattern paper from the kids. It's just every single flower cluster can be fussy cut. <laughs> so there are so many options, so many, so many things that can be created with this pattern paper. So I know. I cut this a couple of nights ago when I was feeling really, really sick. <laughs> so I just cut in bed and started fussy cutting these flowers and try to, you know, keep my mind occupied and thinking of something else. Now, found my sentiment, found these are part of the exclusive die cuts that came with the kits, adding some more adhes adhesive foam squares and my sentiment will now go in the middle. I love adding this, playing with the textures and with the texture and dimension. Now for the inside of my card, I normally like to add a piece of cardstock or pattern paper and cardstock just so it's easier for me to write the message, but also because normally my cards in the front, they end up being kind of heavy because of all the weight and the layers and the mention that I end up adding, that I like adding those extra pieces to and I use them to write my journaling or my message it, but it's also because of that now for my second card I had a big big issue with the camera most of my footage got lost so you'll see me here creating the base of the card so I chose the Bicky Button pattern paper one of them and here is the other way in which I build a card I choose the pattern paper that I like the exact piece that I like and then cut my cardstock and fold my cardstock based on that. These pattern paper allowed me to play more with the stitching and adding more, more texture that way, which I loved. And I think pretty soon then double-sided tape and that's going to be the base of our second card
So I'm gonna walk you through what I did and the products that I used to put this card together. I used a big foam or big foam sticker. So I'm mentioning here, that's the portion, the top right portion of the paper was the one that I chose to use for my background. This is one of the foam stickers that says hello friend and then from that all of the other pieces that say hello my friend are one you'll see here from the Biki button stickers it's just that one strip it has the exact same message but it has it in different colors so the idea was to place the messages on top of the each color and then I added those gold details machine stitching and I popped the hello my friend messages with some adhesive foam the same with the sticker that is a Amy Tangerine sticker and more pattern paper with machine stitching details simple as that just finding the right products that will work for that and same story here lost the footage but let me walk you through the products that I used and what I did. So I used that piece of Hip Kid Club exclusive pattern paper, some machine stitching details, and then I fussy cut the flowers. Those are from the Paige Evans Wonders collection. And the idea was that each one of the flowers to place the right the color on top of the that color of the rainbow on the pattern paper. I used another foam sticker added some glossy accent and some of some more texture as well as the butterflies and then the inside of the card has two pieces of cardstock a yellow one and a white one with some machine stitching details. I am so sorry that you were not able to see me actually creating two of the cards, but basically some fussy cutting happening and just choosing the pattern papers that I liked the most to create these cards. Here you have the one with the butterfly and it is only using the products that we got that month just playing with few few tools like you saw me getting using my Sizzix die cutting machine to create the circle in the middle for the first card but the others are just finding the right stickers with the right messages for the cards that go well with the colors and the design that I was going with. I hope you enjoyed the video, hope that you had already received your August kits. If you haven't, don't worry, they are on the way and they are absolutely beautiful. There are so many embellishments, the pattern papers are really fantastic and I cannot wait to see what you create with them. Don't forget to stop by the blog and the Facebook group to check some of the projects that our girls from the design team had created and I'll see you next time, bye bye.